Hello YouTube, welcome back to the shop. On this episode of What's In Yours, we will be adding some extra waterproofing measures to the scooter, and then we will also be adding some high density foam around the battery for a little bit of extra security during the times when being a daredevil is on the menu. So let's get started. For this project, the tools and materials required will be high density foam block, a 17 and a half by 39 and a half inch rubber mat, 1 16th of an inch thick, O-ring gasket kit, razor knife, hammer, flathead, long skinny screwdriver, a paint pen or equivalent, needle nose pliers, eight millimeter box wrench, a, a scraper with a razor blade, a quarter inch tube for punching through the rubber, in this case, minus copper, four millimeter Allen key and some acetone. So let's continue on with the project. In the waterproofing segment of this video, it's gonna require us to remove all of the deck screws. You're gonna need a four millimeter Allen key and a 10 millimeter box end wrench to put on the nylon nut locking nut while you remove the screw. I've went ahead and removed all the screws ahead of time. And we'll take a look under the deck. Now, if you look under the deck here, they gave it an honest effort with some type of black RTV to try to seal the deck up as much as they can. But when you remove the deck to do any repairs on the scooter, it ruins the integrity of the RTV or like material. So what we will be doing is we'll, we will be removing all of the RTV. We will be taking that 1 16th inch thick rubber gasket, placing it on the scooter and cutting it and fitting it to size. Also, you need a scraper to scrape off all of the RTV. And then I will be using a little bit of acetone just to clean it up. So we will get started on that. All right, and we're back. So I got it cleaned up as much as I could. Now remember, we're just trying to prevent water intrusion. There's no way to stop 100% of the water coming into the scooter. So we're gonna give it an honest effort, and at least it's gonna be a little bit better after we add the rubber gasket, and then um, when we're taking off the deck and putting it back on. All right, folks, what I found that works the best is if you put the rubber sheet on a solid surface, like my shop floor, and what I did is went around it with the razor knife, and I have this almost completely cut out. You want to be firm and press hard and make sure the deck plate does not move. And I think we got it. So let's move this and see how we've done. But, all right, there we go. All right, now we're going to fit it on there and see how it does. Okay, I'm gonna take the rubber gasket, a rubber sheet, I'm gonna fit it on the deck, see how it looks. And let's put the deck on. All right, it looks pretty good. Now what we gotta do is punch out the holes for the deck screws and how we're going to mark those is with the paint pen the way we can see it clearly when we're going to punch the holes There we go, we got that. And now we'll be right back. Okay folks, 
This is where the hammer, the long flat headed screwdriver, and the quarter inch copper pipe comes into play. What we're just going to do is simply line it up over the center of the hole. Give that a couple taps. And that's it. Now we have the hole. See that? All right. Let's continue on. Center it up. And now if your rubber gets stuck in the copper pipe, just simply stick the screwdriver in there and pop it out. You don't have to hit it really hard, but what you want to do is when you're putting it over the hole, you just kind of want to move it around just a little bit just to make sure you get all this, the sides of the circle there, well, the circumference of the circle. And just be careful if you're going to use a piece of copper pipe. It will bend on you. So just hit it straight on. You don't have to kill it. Or you're going to be needing another piece of pipe here. Alright, here's all our holes. So we're going to fit that on the deck and see what it looks like. Be right back. Alright, got the rubber sheet on the deck. All the holes line up pretty well. Alright, now this is going to be the tricky part of this whole scenario. What we have to do is we have to trim the inside of this rubber sheet without cutting any wires and without messing up the battery. That would, that would be a bad day. So what I'm gonna do is just tuck all that in. All right, kind of see where we got. And then we're just gonna take a razor knife and we're gonna go around the edge. But one secret that is gonna help us with that is what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these bolts and put them in their place and that way it kind of holds it in place or I'm putting this rubber gasket on the fit, on the fit properly. Just like so. So we'll trim this out. When I get done, I'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back. All done with cutting the gasket. There's a couple little areas that got a little janky on me, but for the most part, it worked out pretty good, uh, at least good enough for government work. So that's the gasket. So I'll take it off for you. And now it's just simply removing the gasket when you want to take the deck lid off and then putting it back. All right, next, we'll, we will be removing the battery, disconnecting it, because we want to get to some of these lights. And what I'm going to be doing is putting an O-ring on the other side uh, to help waterproof it. So we'll be back. All right, folks, we're back. And now we're going to remove the battery. Now, one thing you want to be mindful for is being careful handling this battery and then also the connections. So you're going to have two XT60 connectors right here that you're going to remove the battery now the way I do it to remember which wires went where is when I remove these connectors I mark these ones and this one is not marked once you disconnect those the battery is disconnected from power except for your charging ports so we're going to move this battery out of here 
got double-sided sticky tape on it. Just be real easy and careful with it. I'm gonna get to that other, to the charging ports. That's gonna be your white connectors here and here. And I also got those ones marked with some markers. Once you take those two or those four connectors off, you want to be careful too because some of these wires are thin so you don't want to rip them out. And there you go. That's the battery. We're going to move that to the side. Now what we want to do is inside the scooter itself, the brake lights and the red LED lights, I'm going to remove that nut right there, take that off, and then I'm going to get an O-ring from that kit, I'm going to put it on there, and then I'm going to tighten that nut back up on it. And like I said, this isn't going to 100% waterproof it, but it's going to give me a, a little peace of mind and a little added extra security that water is not going to enter my scooter if I happen to get myself into a wet situation. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back and I'll show you the results. Now what I did find, it's easier to put the O-ring on the outside of this light right here. Um, and then sandwich it in with that nut. So basically all I'm going to do is take this O-ring. It is a R-08 O-ring. And I'm just going to fit it over the top of this. And then I'm going to put it back into this hole. And I'm going to tighten this nut on the back side. Now we get a waterproof seal between the light and the metal housing of the uh, deck here. All right, now I'm gonna continue that on with all of the lights around the deck. And when I get done with that, I will be back. Okay, folks, all done with putting the O-rings around the tail lights and front lights. O-ring here, O-ring there. And then also, O-ring there. I know you can barely see it, but it's on there. And then also the one on the other side. So that concludes our waterproofing portion of the video. Next, we'll be securing that battery a little bit better than what it came from from the factory. All right, folks, we're all finished up with this project. Let's take a final look. So what I did is took this 1 16th inch rubber gasket, cut it the size, and it gives me a little bit of extra waterproofing around the lip of the deck. Then I also cut some additional high density foam blocks to secure this battery a little bit better in place. Um, it wasn't so great from the factory, and so that's why I did this upgrade. Now, these blocks that I have sitting here on the top, you wanna to make sure that they're just right over the lip of the scooter. And that way, when you put the desk back on, it just barely rests on those foam blocks. Then when you put the deck bolts back in, it'll make that battery sit in there nice and secure. And it makes me feel confident that it won't move around, um, especially on the days when I feel like playing Evil Knievel. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification button. And if you want to know about any of these materials, um, I purchased them all off of Amazon. You'll find them in the link below. Thanks again so much for watching. And until next time, ride safe.